Welcome to Scorecraft. Honor Hold. How powerful we felt. How capable and well weathered we were. Veterans of countless battles. We had prevailed over the Black Dragonflight, Kel'Thuzad and his minions, and even vanquished an old god. Yet, despite all of that, we were not prepared. After years of adventuring on Azeroth, we stepped through the Dark Portal and were met with an environment totally unlike anything we had seen before. Swarms of demons launching an unending counterattack against our advance through the portal. Innumerable enemies with no end in sight, commanded by a pit lord of gargantuan and terrifying size. We stood, mouths agape, in wordless disbelief of that which lay before our eyes. The front commander bellowed our orders to us over the cacophony of combat below, and we were quickly ferried by Griffin away from the front line, leaving many brave heroes of the Horden Alliance to die in our stead, protecting our advance through the portal and safeguarding our world beyond it. Their valor left an indelible mark upon each of us, their sacrifice never forgotten. It was only after our escape and with the soft, peaceful beating of wings that we stopped to take in the scope and majesty of this place. The unmistakable signs of the Legion's presence were one thing, but perhaps more fascinating were the islands of rock inexplicably suspended in the sky. And, yet stranger still, however, was the sky, or rather, as was immediately apparent, the lack of it. When we gazed up from the ground of this shattered, alien world, we saw no sky, no clouds or weather. No, we looked out into the great dark beyond and the unbound, writhing energies of the twisting nether. This was one of the defining moments of the Burning Crusade. Now we saw for the first time just how far we were from home, and that the challenges that lay before us would demand every ounce of our resolve and challenge us to our very cause. And thus we landed, bewildered, excited, and perhaps a little scared, in the great stone bastion of Honorhold. Familiar architecture, strong walls, and a warm inn. A welcome respite in this inhospitable land. This time-worn fortress was established by the Alliance Expeditionary Force following the events of the Second War, the expedition's task was to venture through the portal to retrieve the Book of Medivh from Nezul, war chief of the Orcs on Draenor. Though successful, they were too late to stop Nezul from creating new portals that sundered Draenor into what we now know as Outland. The expedition sealed the Dark Portal so that Azeroth would escape this same fate, and then escaped into a portal of their own to an uncertain and unknown fate. The heroes of this expedition, presumed deceased, were immortalized in the stone statues that lined the Valley of Heroes in Stormwind, but with the release of the Burning Crusade, we were finally able to meet some of these heroes face to face. After the Dark Portal was sealed, the defenders of Honorhold, led by Danath Trollbane, held their own against the dangers of this alien world and the looming presence of Hellfire Citadel. They preserved their stronghold for 18 long years, until, as their keeps lay crumbling, and most had given up hope of ever seeing their homeworld again, the dark portal bellowed and roared as the power of its reignition echoed through the land. Deliverance came not a moment too soon. The beleaguered garrison welcomed with great relief the Alliance troops and their supply caravans, quickly fortifying the portal and solidifying their headquarters at Honorhold. And it is here that we heroes join them and add our own stories to this legendary saga. The music that plays here is so powerfully moving because it is a perfect reflection of how the player feels when first hearing it. We identify with the lone trumpeter whose valiant bugle call rings out defiantly into the void. The opening motif of a repeated perfect fourth, reminiscent of military rebellies, gives way to a melancholic melody rooted in C minor and supported by a choir of French horns. The melody strives upwards by a fourth, then falling by a tone, and again, and again. 
These faltering steps, symbolizing our will to take the fight to the Legion, and, at whatever the cost or loss, to continue to struggle forwards, trusting in our tenacity to prevail over the forces of darkness. This melody reaches its climax, and, with the tolling of tubular bells, secedes to a new melody from the horns, accompanied by rich bass notes from the strings and soaring held violin notes. This melody is an homage to Chopin's Nocturne in C-sharp minor, opus 27, number 1, as we can hear here. The melody begins in the minor, but by flattening the second note of the scale, it shifts the tonality into what's called the Phrygian mode. A mode is simply a form of scale, with each mode having a different pattern of steps up the octave. The effect of flattening the second is to destabilize the key, and so reflect the sense of foreboding and uncertainty that a player feels when venturing into Outland for the first time. The horns pass this theme between themselves in a duet, eventually falling down in pitch and giving way to the strings who play a hushed tremolo, which are repeated rapid short notes that lead into the chordal finale of the piece. In the distance, you can hear the crash of a thunder sheet being struck as strings play their solemn chorale, accompanied by delicate harp arpeggios which are the notes of a chord spread out one after the other. This is a moment of remembrance for those lost defending this keep, and all those who died to secure our passage through the portal, and a promise to their memory that they did not die in vain. There is yet hope in our hearts, and the steely determination to press onwards. The piece is drawn to a close by the somber tolling of bells, a remembrance for the fallen, and a death knell to our enemies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and share it with any friends you think would like it too. If you'd like to support the channel, you can find links to my Patreon and PayPal in the description below. These videos take a lot of hard work and time to make, but one day I hope to be able to do this full time for you, and explore with you the great music that games have brought the world. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Stay chin, everyone.